All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam three, problem number seven. All right, so it says that the deli sells 640 sandwiches per day at uh, $8 each. All right, if, uh, zero, uh, if a 10 cent reduction in price, 40 more sandwiches will be sold. Then how much should the deli charge for a sandwich in order to maximize revenue? All right, so let's do that. All right, so uh, let's see. So I'm gonna use uh, X, right? X is the um, number of uh, uh, 10 cents price reductions. Uh, so 10 cents uh, uh, price uh, reductions. All right, then we have to come up with the revenue function. So revenue function R of X is equal to, all right, so we want to, so we have to set the price. So we need to have a price here, all right? So this is price and then multiply by a number of uh, sandwiches sold. So number of sandwiches All right so the price is going to be since uh, we do uh, uh, X 10 cent reductions so uh, base price is uh, $8 All right then we subtract uh, 0 0.10 0 times X so I'm just gonna write the 0 0.1 X so that will be the price then we multiply by the number of sandwiches. So uh, we can sell, uh, let's say, 640 sandwiches at $8, right? So with the reduction, we have 640. And additional sandwiches we can sell would be, uh, for each reduction, you can sell 40 more. So it's going to be 40 times X more sandwiches will be sold, right? So this is the revenue function, and of course we want to maximize this. So maximize. All right, so let's find the critical number. Actually, uh, look at this function, and uh, here there's a negative x, uh, 0.1x, and the leading term is 40x, so it's gonna be negative uh, 4x squared. So this is gonna be a parabola facing down. So we can see that uh, the maximum will occur at the um, at the vertex or at the critical number, all right? So I'm gonna just uh, take the derivative. So r prime of x is equal to, all right? All right, so uh, let's see, two things multiply together. Let's use the product rule. So derivative of the first guy is negative 0 0.1, because derivative of eight is zero, derivative of negative 0 0.1x is negative 0 0.1 times the second guy, so it's uh, 640 uh, plus 40x, right? Plus, uh, first guy is quantity 8 minus 0.1x, right? Then multiply by derivative of the second guy, derivative of 640 is zero, since it's a constant. Derivative of 40x would be 40, so multiply by, by 40. All right, so we get uh, this is going to be equal to uh, so negative 64 uh, plus 4x. Actually, it's going to be minus 4x. I forgot to put the negative sign there. All right, so it's a minus uh, 4x. All right, then 40 times 8, uh, so 320. All right, minus. Uh, another 4x. All right, so we're gonna get, uh, so this is gonna be equal to, all right, so I'm gonna uh, co uh, collect the like terms. Uh, here is uh, negative 4x and negative 4x. So that will be negative uh, 8, uh, 8, oh, so 8x, sorry, 8, 8x. All right, so uh, 320 minus 64, so it's gonna be zero minus, so that's six, all right? Then, uh, so you're gonna have uh, five and 256.
right? So plus, right? So that's the derivative, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, set that equal to zero to find the critical number, right? So let's do that. So we can just uh, subtract the 256 from both sides. Negative 8x is equal to negative uh, 256, right? And the last step is and uh, divide through by negative 8, right? Hopefully it's a nice number. So x is going to be equal to. All right, 25, how many x's? Um, let's see, 3. So you have, uh, so a negative sign cancel out. So you have 3, and that will be 24. So 16 left, uh, so it's 2. So 32. All right, so therefore, the price, price function is right here. So price we're looking for, P, maybe I'll call P, all right, is uh, 8 minus... Uh, 10 cent reduction, we're going to do 32 reductions, right? Which means that uh, 8 minus 3.2, which means that uh, $4.80, right? Is the, the best price, right? To maximize the revenue, right? So the deli uh, wants to sell a, uh, sell their sandwiches at um, uh, 480 each uh, to maximize uh, their revenue. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.